Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you a super beautiful monarch butterfly wing design that I made with regular nail polishes only on my little thumb. I'm still wearing it as you can see right here. I am so in love with this design and I know it's been done a couple of times already but I haven't done it before. Like before I just recorded this of course but yeah I think it's just such a beautiful and classic design to put on your nails it looks beautiful on long nails it looks beautiful on short nails or medium length nails and I would definitely recommend to try it out for yourself so I used holo taco nail polishes only and no I'm not sponsored or anything like that to make this video I just really love the colors together and those were also the colors that popped in my mind when I was like okay, I'm going to do the Monarch Butterfly Wing nail design. But yeah, I am going to do all of this on my little thumb. I've just done one nail. Of course, you can do this for like an accent nail like I did, or you can do all fingers and nails, of course. It's totally up to you if you want to do that. The only thing you will need are a couple of orange colors, or maybe you want to do it in green or blue or yellow or any color whatsoever. It really doesn't matter. Just pick a color you love. I just chose orange because it's, of course, the Dutch national color. I love orange colors, and for spring, summer, I just think it's a beautiful tone, and it is the original monarch butterfly color anyway. So yeah, it was an easy choice for me, but yeah, you can do this in any color whatsoever. So just pick a color, pick a couple of different like finishes because I chose two holographic ones, and a holographic shimmer or glitter i have to say um and then you will need a black and a really opaque black or maybe just apply a couple of layers if you don't have a super opaque black one and you will need an opaque white color you could easily just pick some stamping polishes as well since those are highly pigmented but i wouldn't recommend to use those for the orange color or any color you would like to apply because I'm going to do like a stamped on gradient and I feel like it works best with shimmery colors or regular nail polishes compared to stamping polishes because those tend to be a little thicker and they dry faster as well but yeah I'm really curious to hear what you think about it and of course if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well and become a little part of my nail family here at YouTube. But yeah, if you are going to recreate this design, definitely let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you've already done a design like this because I'm really curious to hear what your experiences are. Personally, I get the shakes a lot. I definitely don't have a steady hand so if I was able to create this in one go, like in one take with my shakes, I'm sure you can do this as well, no matter your skill level or anything like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching on forehand. I really hope you like it. I love you so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in my next video as well. So let's get into this entire step-by-step -step tutorial. I promise you guys, it is really easy to do. And as I mentioned in the intro, if I can do this in one take, one recording, I think this look in total cost me like 15 minutes. And that's including a lot of the drying time as well. But definitely if I can do it within that short time period in one go, I am sure you can do it as well because I get the shape so darn often it's insane but yeah let's start as I mentioned I will be doing this design on my thumb and not on all of my nails at the moment simply because my thumb is the biggest surface that I have and because I do get the shakes it's easier to work on a little bit of a bigger surface but I promise this will look beautiful on any length 
shape, size nail, really doesn't matter. But I am going to start off with the base coat, of course, and I'm using the Smoothing Base by Holotaco. I am going to use Holotaco polishes for this particular design only, simply because the orange colors really spoke to me when I was planning on doing this design, and I just feel they're really gorgeous, and they work together very well too. So I was like, I'm just going to use their base and top coat as well. This base is actually one of my favorites. It works pretty decently and it also I'd say protects my nail pretty well from staining too but I'm going to show you all of the colors that I'm going to use first so we have a Zylir the cat which is actually the color polish I'm going to use last of the three orangey tones then I also have got orange drink but I'm going to start off with peach tea first after my base is completely dry and for the black outlines and stuff like that, I'm using the one coat black and for the white little dots to really finish off this design and to tie it in is the not milky white. The last two colors are actually the OG colors, so they still have the smaller brush. Um, for this particular design, it really didn't matter because I'm going to use a brush and a dotting tool to actually apply those colors to my nail. But if you want to check it out and you are getting the newer version polishes of those two specific colors, you will get a little bit of a wider brush. But let's start off with the first color because I'm going to apply two coats of that. And that one is from the newer rainbow collection from the pastel rainbow collection. And it is called Peach Tea. So definitely make sure that your base is completely dry before going in with your first colored coat. Of course, it really doesn't matter what kind of color you want to use. Maybe you even want to use like an orange and a yellow and a pink. You can definitely mix up some colors onto one specific like butterfly wing nail design as well. If you don't want to stick to just one specific color family or color scheme, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I just chose to go for the original Monarch butterfly color, which is a beautiful orange. And it really definitely gives a twist with the holographic polish that I'm using today but after you have applied your first two coats or at least I went in with two coats of the peach tea color to make it completely opaque I am going to sponge on a little bit of the orange drink this one is from the original rainbow collection by Holotaco by the way I have purchased every single polish that I'm using in this video myself I'm not being paid or sponsored or something like that to do this video just for the record to make things clear and I am going to use for um, the sponge on technique, actually a kitchen sponge, which are really easy to get by. They are affordable and they actually work like a dream. So you just want to pull off a little part of the soft, squishy, spongy part. Of course, you can use a makeup brush as well, or brush, <laughs> makeup sponge as well to create the same kind of effect. But I actually really love the effect that... Uh, like a regular kitchen sponge gives it's a little bit more sparse but you get a beautiful effect nonetheless so i'm going to apply this darker orange drink color I'd say about halfway down the nail, more towards the tip of the nail. It doesn't really have to be perfect because we are going to apply some black lining on top of that. But I really wanted to keep a little bit of that peach tea color like still bare and out um, for anyone to see <laughs> around the cuticle area because I really want to make it like a light orange towards medium orange towards glittery orange kind of effect. But after that is dry and you have applied it just the way you like it, I'm going in with this beautiful orangey holographic glitter color. This one is by Holotaco as well, of course, and it's called Zyler the Cat. It is just such a cute color the name is cute i love cats of course i do have two cats myself as well for already 12 years like it's insane my cats are getting so old <laughs> but i'm going to do exactly the same technique with this glittery polish as i did with the orange drink one but mostly focus the glitter on top of the orange drink color which is the darker orange because i didn't really want to add 
a ton of glitter towards the cuticle area because otherwise the beautiful peach tea kind of color would not be visible anymore. So yeah, after you're done applying your colors and glitters, or maybe you even want to add like some flaky polishes or something, that would look really gorgeous as well. But after that is completely dry, you want to go in with your black and start with the outlining. I am going to use a detailer brush for that. It is a little shorter than a liner brush, but you can definitely use a longer liner brush as well. Or maybe maybe even a shorter like bristled brush if that is something you have handy. If you don't have any specific nail brushes or nail tools like this, maybe you can actually make one yourself with a toothpick or something similar like that. That works pretty well too and you can just use like regular nail polishes like I did in this video as well. But I'm starting off with the first line and that one is a little bit like diagonal like with a little arch to it, I'd say, from the lower cuticle area towards just like a higher point. As you can see here, like it's pretty self-explanatory if you just watch the video, but you guys have always mentioned in a lot of your comments that you're leaving underneath my videos that you like me to talk through my videos, just talking about what I do, what products I use. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing. I'm just answering your question or your request i have to say but yeah you just want to apply some other lines that are strictly coming up from that first line like you can see right here i just added three lines in total because i don't have a super wide nail and i did definitely wanted to see some of the beautiful orange gradient that was going on underneath so i just decided to add three of course, you can definitely go for less or more depending on the size and shape of your nail. If you have a little bit of a wider nail, you can maybe add an extra little line like in the length of the nail. But yeah, I just kept it to three lines and I'm going to outline the entire nail as well. So definitely keep that in mind. It definitely finish off the nail if you do that. Of course, it's not a must. It's not an obligation. You can just do this design design however you feel like it you know but yeah um more towards the tip of the nail to really make the butterfly wing come to life i'm going to add kind of like arches to really round off the orange part as you can see right here and fill in the rest of the tip of the nail with that black you can definitely use the brush from the bottle that comes with the bottle for that but i already had a ton of black polish out on my little resin plate so i was like let's just use that one up be a decent Dutch girl and don't spill stuff or anything like that, you know? So yeah, I'm just going to continue just perfecting my lines, maybe even round them a little more um, the, towards the like bottom line that we applied first. I think the more rounded the edges look, the prettier it is and the more organic-like and definitely natural-like it looks as well. Of course, if you have a little bit of spillage or like anything flooding around the cuticle area or onto the skin next to the nail, make sure to clean that up with a little bit of nail polish remover or maybe some acetone. I just got back into my, um, at, or I think I use nail polish remover actually, non-acetone one, but it's totally up to you what you want to use or what you actually have standing around on your work desk. I just used a non-acetone nail polish remover and a little angled brush as well, which is actually um, originally an eyebrow brush, but it is such a nice brush to do cleanup around the nails, like onto the cuticle and stuff like that, that I actually just use it for that. But of course, just use what you have handy or nearby or anything like that and continue with the outline of the butterfly wing. We are almost done. I promise. I definitely wanted to take my time for this because I do get the shakes a lot quite often. Sometimes I'm just running low on sugar. Sometimes I've had coffee, so I'm getting like caffeine shakes. Um, I do have high blood pressure as well. I'm kind of like a hot mess sometimes, like getting fired up like really quickly. I have high blood pressure. Um, yeah, it's just stuff that happens, you know. 
but that is why I get quite shaky every now and then, especially when working with small brushes and really intricate designs like this. So if you have that as well, or maybe you're not really skilled or have a steady hand for what reason whatsoever, um, don't worry, just practice a little bit because at the end of the day, it is just nail polish. And if you mess it up or you don't like the design, you can just remove it. It's as easy as that. But yeah, here I'm just just really taking my time and not really speeding through this process as well just to show you that it definitely does take me like 10 to 15 minutes to do the line work you know like the color application the gradients that's just like a few minutes but really the line artwork takes up a lot of time so yeah definitely take your time for that and maybe even use a not fast drying polish for this or just a super opaque one like i use right here the one coat black is not super opaque i feel like if you apply it like a full-on manicure on the entire nail surface but for like details like this it is actually pretty good and it dries pretty fast as well but if you're not confident enough to work with a super fast drying black just use a regular one and maybe go over the lines once more if it's not opaque enough to your personal preference but yeah here once again i'm just taking my cleanup brush cleaning up around the edges especially because i did an entire nail outline and you know, sometimes you just make a mess of your cuticles and you have to clean it up. But after your black is completely dry, and I would definitely recommend to let it dry for like 10 minutes even, just make sure it is completely dry. You wanna go in with your white dots. And the reason why I definitely like emphasize the fact that your black has to be dry is because if you will go in with an opaque white color and your black is still wet it will become a muddy mess it would like blend into each other it will become a grayish just muddy mess and you don't want that so yeah you just want to grab one of your dotting tools once again if you don't have any dotting tools you can use like a bobby pin or even a ball end needle or maybe even a toothpick as well just use anything you have handy because when it comes to nail art you don't always need a ton of tools or crazy supplies that cost a lot as well you can just use some household items like even the little kitchen sponge like the part of the sponge that I used is really inexpensive like almost everyone has like a kitchen sponge laying around in their kitchen or underneath their sink in the little cupboard or something like that it is so easy to do nail art but just be really creative when it comes to creating tools even because sometimes you don't have like a big budget to spend on nail stuff I totally get that. I've been there. I've been a student. I've been living on my own ever since I was 17 years old. I know what it's like to not have a lot of money. So yeah, definitely look around at your home, maybe even your apartment if you're living smaller, or just ask some friends if they have some tools that they maybe don't use or don't want to use anymore. And maybe you can just get them from your friends, you know, friends are there to help you out and if they're true friends i'm sure they will share their new art tools but yeah you just want to apply the dots as i just showed you in the video you can place them mostly around the tip of the nail but i placed a couple down the line work as well just to tie it in a little more and to make it look more natural just apply some bigger and some smaller dots it really doesn't matter just do what feels and looks right to you but after your white is also fully dry definitely give that a good five minutes as well you want to go in with your top coat i'm just going in with the glossy top coat by holotaco unfortunately i'm not able to get the super like ultra glossy holo top coat that they sell because there are some ingredients in there that are actually quite toxic and it's not allowed to be shipped to europe so yeah that's why i'm using this one but definitely apply a decent amount of top coat to make sure you don't smear a lot of the black and white on top of each other and yeah that is pretty much the entire video already 
it is a little bit of a longer video but that is just because i want to share with you that even though i've been doing nails and nail art for such a long time i still need a good couple of minutes like 15 minutes to do a design like this and just take your time with it there is no pressure on having fun and be, like being creative just do you have fun and yeah that is pretty much it i really hope you like it let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and if you have tried this yourself or maybe even send me some pictures on instagram i always love it when you guys do that but thanks so much for watching i love you so so much and i as usual, I hope to see you in my next video as well.